This is what a skin biopsy looks like from a patient. Come with me to plate this out and get patient-derived skin fibroblasts. I first needed to sterilize the forceps that I was going to be working with, so I put them under the Bunsen burner until they were red hot. And I sterilized them and brought them into the cell culture hood. The first thing that I'm going to do is add a little bit of media to what I'm calling my cutting dish, which is actually just the top of a petri dish, spreading out the media nice and thin. And then now I'm going to take my sterile forceps and add the little puncture of skin biopsy directly onto the plate with media. You can see it's just this tiny little white ball. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and pressed down so it's not going to float away. And then I'm going to cut it up into smaller sections so I can have multiple samples from the same skin biopsy. This specific biopsy is from a little boy with MET13L syndrome and I'm trying to isolate some of his skin cells so I can study their mitochondrial function further. I next coated the wells that I was going to use with gelatin to help the cells stick to the wells. And now I'm going to add some fresh media into three out of the six wells, just enough to cover the bottom, and slowly place some of these pieces of skin biopsy into each of the wells. Each well got about two to three pieces of skin biopsy with just enough media so that they're not floating away. And this whole process of isolating cells from these samples will take about a month to two months. So every couple of days I will check these cells and check back in with you guys to see how they are growing.